Moving on. Helping out the environment by changing the way you eat. Still ahead in Good Morning Connecticut, ways you can go green with local food this Earth Day. Have you bought your Hallmark card yet for Earth Day? It's coming up April 22nd, and the Earth gets very sad if you don't get it a card. It's the 40th anniversary of the holiday this year. You can make a lot of changes to help out the environment. And there are some easy ways, simply by changing the way you eat. It's true. Joining us this morning with some green food tips for Earth Day, Annalise Paik from the Fairfield Green Food Guy. We say good morning to you. Good morning. And we kid around, but you know, you know, in terms of Earth Day, but it's a big holiday, 40th anniversary. Yes. And in those 40 years, especially with kids, they've there's really been a good uh, force to to get them to be more knowledgeable about the environment. And with seg with a segment like this of what you could be eating, it really helps you live longer and celebrate the earth, right? Absolutely, and there's wonderful things that you can do. Mm -hmm. If you eat locally, and you can eat locally with the help of a brand new cookbook from Michelle Nishan. That would be this one right here. This is a beautiful cookbook to mm. help us eat with the seasons and eat sustainably. So over 100 recipes, and one of them is with the humble parsnip. When you roast the parsnip, the uh -huh. sweetness comes out of it, and he has a fabulous soup in there with only four ingredients. Parsnip soup. Parsnip soup. I don't soup. think I can say, and I cook, but I don't think I have ever purchased a parsnip at and the grocery store. And that's the point of this cookbook, is to show people that with really humble local ingredients, uh -huh. you can make amazing things because this has fabulous flavor Parsnip, in it. okay. And then when, you, when you're not at a farmer's market mm -hmm. buying local, you can buy local right in your own grocery and store. And the grocery stores around the state and everywhere have really done a nice, knowledgeable effort and bringing in the local stuff, for example, because you see this next to, you know, the, the generic brand milks, uh, Farmer's Cow, it is fresh Connecticut fresh. milk. And the price, is, the price point is not much different than what you're paying for, 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 for the other stuff. And the thing is, when you buy this, you're, you know what you're getting. Mm -hmm. You're getting really fresh milk from a cooperative of family-owned farms here in Connecticut. Mm -hmm. And there are a lot of those. They're not using any growth hormones on mm -hmm. it. They're eating what they grow on the farm. Mm -hmm. And you're also preserving farmland. Right. In so terms of cost effectiveness, the best thing to suggest if you are doing shopping at, at a farmer's market is to buy within the seasons, right? Absolutely. Always buy. Well, that's all you're going to find at the farmer's market is what's in season. What's mm -hmm. interesting is we have some farms that grow year-round in greenhouses. Right. And this one is two guys from Woodbridge. Mm -hmm. One of my recommendations is to download this list, the Shopper's Guide to Pesticides. There's hmm. a dirty dozen lettuces on it. This is oh, a beautiful... Oh, this is, this is a quiz right there. I mean, in terms of what you think may be on the list and, and, and what isn't. For example, worst things to buy organically. Peaches, well, apples... Best well, things to buy or, or in terms, oh, oh, right, right, because these are the dirty things. Let right. me get that right. Peaches, apples, be, I didn't say it right. Get off my back, people. <laughs> Everyone's laughing. Uh, celery, nectarine, strawberries. The things with the worst, excuse me, with the lowest pesticide. I'm doing it again. The lowest pesticides. Got it? Onions, avocado, sweet corn, pineapple, mango. Right. Stuff like that. So buy the things that matter. So lettuce is on the list. So this is on. grown mm -hmm. USDA organic, hydroponically. I love to take it, cut off the top, and you can even try to plant the root ball in your garden to give it a second oh, Very light. nice. There you go. I'm going to hold on to this because apparently I need to, Wonderful. to, to brush up on and it. And then so. <laughs> when, you're, when you're drinking wine or eating chocolate or coffee or tea, right. try to go for organic. Is that possible? Absol organic grapes? These these are organic grapes. This is the first carbon neutral winery in the mm. United States. Mm -hmm. It's Carducci. They're out in Mendocino, California. Okay. And this is another wine from Mendocino, Paul Dolan. Mm -hmm. These are fantastic wines, and these are made from organic and biodynamic grapes. Right. Biodynamic is beyond organic. They better than organic? Better than organic. Super orda organic? They're taken even more into account than uh -huh. just the soil and the plants. Talk about the lunch bags, because it's not even uh, what you're eating, it's where you're putting it. Absolutely. Instead of throwing um, plastic bottles in the garbage, sure. use a stainless steel thermos instead, Absolutely. because they're just clogging our landfills even though they're recyclable. Mm -hmm. And then instead of throwing reusable, uh, instead of throwing plastic bags for lunch and snack in the garbage, we use these lunch skins. They're these reusable. Are great. Mm -hmm. They're coated, so you can, they're food grade. They're wonderful. And they're, and they're for lack of a better word, designer. You're not going to be inclined to throw this out as and they do come like, home. like a paper bag. When you, you put your child's name here, and they do come home from school. I haven't lost one yet. There you go. See. That's Let's wonderful. finish up with uh, one when, more great tip. One of the other things you'd like to do is start cooking, start growing some of your own food, mm -hmm. and it can be as easy as this beautiful herb basket from Moorfield Herb Garden. 
There's some alpine strawberry in here, which won't overgrow. Rosemary. Uh, this is gorgeous. This is lemon verbena. If you rub that, the essential oils come out. It's fabulous. Really? Absolutely. I've touched it. It's fabulous. Oh, it's right. amazing. And this is um, pineapple mint. Oh, my goodness. It's, it's fabulous. <laughs> That's a lemony. <laughs> so if you get the cookbook and you pick up some herbs, you're, you're pretty much good to go. on a good and start. And you're doing a difference. And again, it's, it's short-term things like that that are going to make a whole difference to your life long-term which yes. is really great. If you want more tips, we'd love to share them with you. WTNH.com, click on the Good Morning Connecticut weekend section, and uh, there uh, we'll also link you to the right things on the Shopper's Guide to Pesticides, which is something that obviously I need to bone up with. Annalise Pegg, thanks for coming in. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. We will take a time out when we come back. Uh, we will do uh, the top stories over here, and of course the weather as well. It's all when we come back.